Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at finding the roots of a polynomial equation. So we have find all four values of x that satisfy x to the fourth plus 4x four squared equals 32. So if we look at this equation here, the strategy is going to be to treat this kind of like a quadratic equation. And you're going to see what I mean in a moment. So the first thing we want to do though is move 32 over to the left side because we need 0 on the right hand side. So we subtract 32 from both sides, and we're going to have x to the fourth plus 4x squared minus 32 is equal to 0, because 32 minus 32 will cancel out. Now before we make a substitution here, I want to rewrite this equation as x squared squared plus 4x squared minus 32 is equal to 0. Because the thing is, we want to treat this like a quadratic equation, but the only difference is that we have an x to the fourth power here and an x squared is our middle term. So if we write x to the fourth as x squared squared, we could replace x squared with the variable y. So we're going to let y equal x squared. Now the reason why we're doing this is because it's kind of abstract to think of this in terms of x squared the first time you're doing this. So all we're going to do with this equation is replace all of the x to the second powers with the variable y. So instead of x squared squared, we're going to have y squared. Make this a little bit neater. We're going to have y squared plus 4 and instead of x squared, we're replacing x squared with y again minus 32 is equal to 0. So once again, all we did was replace these two x squared terms with the variable y. We made a substitution. But now if you look at this, now we have a quadratic equation. And we know how to factor quadratic equations using our add multiply trick. And what I mean by this is that we're looking for two factors such that the two numbers are going to add to positive 4 and they're going to multiply to negative 32. And if we think about this, we'll see that the numbers are going to be positive 8 and negative 4. And if we quickly check, 8 plus negative 4 is positive 4. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. But at this step here, what we want to do is, instead of leaving this as y plus 8 times y minus 4, now we could go ahead and replace y with x squared. So our factors are actually going to be x squared plus 8, and x squared minus 4. But remember, the product of these two factors is equal to 0. But what we want to do here is we're going to find the roots, but we're going to handle the easier factor first. We're, the factor x squared minus 4 is going to have real solutions, so we're going to handle this one first. So we're going to set x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Now we have a difference of perfect squares here, so we could break this down into x plus 2 times x minus 2. And we're going to set this equal to 0. So what we want to do with this step is all we're going to do is set x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. So once again, we just broke down x squared minus 4 into x plus 2 times x minus 2, but now we're going to set each factor equal to 0. And when we solve both of these equations, we'll find that one root is going to be x equals negative 2 this is one of our answers. And when we add 2 to both sides for the second equation, x equals positive 2 is our second answer. But remember, we need four values of x, so we're not done here. We have to find the other two. So what we're going to do with this step is we're going to set the other factor. Remember, we set x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Now we need to set x squared plus 8 equal to 0. But the thing is, for this solution here, we're not going to have real solutions. We're going to have imaginary or complex numbers. So what we want to do is we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And we're going to have x squared equals negative 8. And when we take the square root of both sides, notice we're taking the square root of a negative number, which there is no definition for the square root of a negative number when you're in the real number system. So that's how we know our answer is going to be imaginary or complex. So for the left-hand side, the square root of x squared is absolute value x. So that means we're going to write x equals, and we're going to have plus or minus the square root of negative 8. But one thing we want to consider with imaginary numbers, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. 
So what we could do for the next line is write this as x equals plus or minus i times radical 8. So we could bring this negative out as the term i, but now remember, our answers should never be left unsimplified. Radical 8 could be broken down. So we're going to have plus or minus i, and we could break down radical 8 into radical 4 times radical 2, which tells us our final two answers here are plus or minus. The square root of 4 is equal to 2, so we have 2i radical 2. Remember, radical 2 will not simplify because it's irrational, so we're going to leave it under the radical like this. So we have four solutions here. x equals negative 2, x equals positive 2. We have x equals positive 2i radical 2, and x equals negative 2i radical 2. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding the roots of a polynomial equation. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.